so that they can make the soil rich in organic content by India Murwan, that is close to 25,000 kilometers. One hole is more than a mole. It is more than a mole. This is a hole cut. 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 Hi. Hello. How are you? How many kilometers is your plan? So my plan is twenty five thousand kilometers. Korchalo, twenty five thousand kilometers. Cycle ma. Bachi yalla. What is your mission of traveling? My mission is save soil. Our save soil. Save our soil. Oh, that's great. And um, how many? How long it will take? It will take eighteen months more. Eighteen months. Yeah. Wait a moment, no one. For eighteen months you will take. Yeah. Simple. How many states have you covered right now? Uh, seven states till now. Okay. And right now you are in the cultural capital, Trishur. Kerala. And how is it, Trishur? Like nice, little bit cold because of rain, but it's good. <laughs> great, great, great. Keep going. Um, you will definitely finish your twenty-five thousand kilometers. All the best. मोल इधर चुम्मा साइकिल वाली पूरा नहीं है, पूर्ण ना स्कूल्स, विलेजेस, कैंप्स, ये लाल वाले तुम बोले थे, इस सोयल की इम्पोर्टेंस, नम्बर आदेन ऐंगने समझेक्षी करना, इन्दुष्य ये नम्बर लग कंप्लीट एक कैंपेन आये थे, सेव सोयल नम्बर लग कैंपेन के बाग में इटा डूबना, अब तो त्रिशूर वाला � Enggan ada ni preservi orang for next coming generations ni mana lah sahilu baru ni. Patang lah saya ni, anak, nama kau ni baru ni, awak ni baru ni. Hi, hi, welcome to the zoo. So just tell me about what is your plans about your this cycle trip. Uh, what uh, what is your mission actually? Uh, before that, give a self introduction about yourself. Uh, so like, uh, how old are you? In which standard are you? In at Kolkata from where are you? Just a little intro about you. So my name is Sahil Jha. I am a 16-year-old child from Kolkata, West Bengal. I started cycling from Kolkata three months back for the Save Soil Movement with my cycle. So I started from there, and it will take me around 18 months to complete the whole journey. And so here I am in Thrissur, the cultural capital of Kerala. Met the famous YouTuber uh, and the biggest man in Thrissur. The smallest, so, <laughs> biggest is this one. <laughs> and like just behind us, the uh, what a good Yeah, yeah. And Shiva is there, so this is what it is. Okay. Now tell me, uh, how you got this idea about save the soil? What made you uh, thought like how to um, you need a movement for this? What What was your idea about? How you thought that? Normally, guys like you at your 10th uh, standard never think like that. 
I haven't thought in my 10th standard like you did. So what is that? So like I I started to watch YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. Suddenly I have seen some safe cell campaign is going on, uh -huh. and from very earlier like I have seen that the matrix. that the farmers are committing suicide oh. and when i got to know that this is the problem because of this they are, they are committing suicide okay. like three lakh farmers have committed suicide in the three previous lakh farmers in the previous 22 years in india only oh. so seeing these numbers like our food production will drop just in the next coming years so seeing these things i just started uh, like i have seen read many books around environment and philosophy life fiction these things and i seen such guru at at the age of 65 he's uh, he has done 30000 km mm -hmm. on bike alone from london to india mm -hmm. so seeing those thing like a man of 65 is doing so your so inspiration yeah so seeing these things i just started i was like fired and after writing my 10th exam mm -hmm. i started so uh, like th there is a major question what about your studies that will be a huge question for the viewers actually what about your studies uh, what if everybody get downs like this for the <laughs> safe soil moment uh, campaign our uh, education system will be in a little trouble mm -hmm. so how do you following your studies give that so like i have given 10th exams and uh, from here i'll study from national open school uh, just after some time i'll register for that and i'll study also and cycle also and those of you who want to cycle like i will not suggest you because like the weather conditions will be like that and sun extreme conditions like as a professional cricketer like before starting this my physical health was little like it was in a nice condition i was a uh, professional cricketer so i like i had did many things on my body uh, that fitness routines and these things because of that i am able to cycle but i will not recommend you to do so like if you want if you are that much willing when i am university you can Uh, join me we can uh, organize cyclothon you can follow me on like social media there uh, you can uh, we can do cyclothon in your city and if you want to share the word if you want if you are so concerned about this save soil campaign you must share about this uh, movement and spread the awareness so how how many kilometers are you plan how uh, many what is the uh, how many how long it will take so it will take 18 months to 24 months that is Uh, 1.5 to 2 years it will take in total uh, like depending on the events the programs are uh, scheduled like this so it will take that much time if i want to cycle i can do it in like 3 months or 4 months more i can cover all india like from here i am in thrissur from kerala i can do it uh, in 3 to 4 months but uh, as the events are scheduled i have to go to like many school colleges universities gain the like make the youth of our nation aware so it will take 18 months more at least so what do, what if your mother and your dad want to see you what is that how does that how do you compensate that if your mom want to huh. see you like uh, very very occasionally like we we do this video call because of like kudos to whatsapp and this technology and no if she want to see you and ask <laughs> you what is that what is the way out for that that is like i have told them to come to mumbai uh -huh. so, so during my journey if They they, they are telling that moment. they will come and see you, me. You once. can see the yeah. Then from so, there certain places they yeah, can come. Yeah. So tell me yeah. what you tell in the colleges to the children. Mm -hmm. What is your advice that you are giving for the safe soil campaign? So when I go to colleges, the students speak like uh, yeah. speak like there is <laughs> uh, one million <laughs> students standing in front of you, yeah. and you are telling them. Okay, so like as you guys are uh, like. I am younger than your age. I am sixteen. You could be like anywhere between uh, whatever. It might be younger than you. Yeah. Might be elder than you. Okay. Whatever you are giving the yeah uh, um, your mission. Hmm. Why you are doing this and how to do this? So like as I have started, my age is sixteen. Seeing these things, uh, why I have started? Like I could have done when my age would be like over eighteen something, but I have started because it is so concerned. Our food production will drop. So so like. very very early and it will the rate will increase so i want the youth of my country to uh, lead in this save soil campaign i want the world to lead in this campaign i want to create a wave in the country to gain support for the save soil movement i urge all of you to become aware about the consequences we have to face in the coming years 
like the united nations are predicting in the next two decades our food production will drop by 40% and yeah 40% in the next 20 years that is by 2045 our food production will drop by 40% and our population will increase too that means half of the population will not get to eat food they will suffer like hell they will really suffer like hell you haven't seen like i have traveled seven states till now covering around 3500 to 4000 kilometers i have seen people suffering i have seen the major rivers are dried up i have seen the because the hunger is the hunger they are like civil wars will unfold if we do not save it like just suppose in thrissur for the next 3 days people doesn't gets to eat food just suppose in your city people don't get to eat food what will happen civil wars will definitely unfold uh definitely uh, we if we do not get to eat food life could not sustain we cannot go to school we cannot go to colleges so this should be the first most uh, priority of your life to save other people's life including yours so i urge all of you to join this movement join us as an earth buddy on savesoil.org you can get more wait, details wait, wait, wait. you're not yet over i have more questions <laughs> <laughs> how we are going to save this what is the method of saving soil huh. if if uh, somebody who's listening to you if he or she want to save that hmm. what is the method of saving this soil so we can save soil like this movement we can save the soil by spreading word the, the problem with the soil uh, at present scenario is this like it is uh, the organic content in it it is gradually decreasing it should be minimum 3 to 6% of organic content in the soil which is well below 0.5% in india's 62% of the soil 62% of agricultural soil it has 0.5% of organic content soil is becoming into sand and when it becomes to sand we cannot grow food in it if we cannot grow food in it like we will not get to feed ourselves we cannot feed our family we cannot feed the future guests who are coming on the planet so you can save soil by uh, spreading word like we want the government to bring policy change so that they can uh, give certain incentives to the farmers the policy will include giving certain incentives to the farmers so that they can make the soil rich in organic content by agroforestry they can uh, the land should be under said so it are, should not be exposed about, to direct sunlight no yeah. you are telling that uh, we should not use the chemicals exactly if right now if we do not use the chemicals then our food production will uh, grow down by minimum 25% just in a while it will grow down by 25% if we if we stop using fertilizer so that is not the solution if we like move towards increasing organic content then automatically like the cow dung yeah exactly animal waste plant waste tree leaves these things so it will uh, aut- automatically the need of fertilizer will grow down Huh. what if there is a 100 acre ha huh. and how does we get the cow dung for the entire 100 acres we necessarily don't need like we can push towards organic manure organic fertilizers we can make the land under said mm-hmm. like tree leaves tree said like bushes grass like so that it cannot get uh, ex- exposed to direct sunlight because of like we are plugging and paving the land because of like we can decrease the use of tractor thing organic content it it is in like 14 to 15 inches of the soil mm-hmm. till that our our life depends mm-hmm. so if we with using tractor if we plug it it totally gets destroyed because of direct sunlight so like we want to push governments toward making policies the government can bring policy only if people support is there and people can only support if they are really aware if they are informative about this what what are the consequences we have to face in the coming future so it can all it can be only possible if the people will be aware so to make people aware i have started this journey everybody like i have seen a girl is a like 16 17 year girl in telangana she have done 5000 km on cycle yeah and i have seen like personally i have seen two uh, two boys one has done from kashmir to kanyakumari and one has done kanya kumari to kashmir on cycle it's already completed so in our little way we are contributing you can also contribute by sharing about this movement on social media you can use like facebook whatsapp twitter you can uh, do you can make youtube videos you can make reels so that in short people can become aware and support this movement if we are really concerned like if we want our family to like get them fed well and uh, the future generations which are coming so for this uh, we need to push towards policies
that's it yeah um i think uh, we have covered all the major points like uh-huh. so idana ee campaign de oru pulleyude oru uddesham adayathu safe soil adu ini nammal cheedillengil adu velliya prashna avum nalladu ivarakku tirichirunnu nammal onnu ippum tirichirunnattilla nam thonunnu ariyayilla pakshe അതിനൊരു ഡിഫറൻസ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് കൊണ്ടുവരണം അതാണ് ഇവരും ആ മൂവ്മെന്റ് അതാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അതായത് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ആ പോളിസി മാറ്റിയാലേ നമ്മുടെ അവിടെയുള്ള കർഷകർക്കും നമ്മുടെ അവിടെയുള്ള ആൾക്കാർക്കൊക്കെ അതിനൊരു ചേഞ്ച് കൊണ്ടുവരാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ അപ്പം ഇവന്റെ ഒരു ഈ ഈ ഇവൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു എഫേർട്ട് ഇത്രയും ദൂരെ നിന്ന് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കൊൽക്കട്ടയിൽ നിന്ന് ഇവിടം വരെ സൈക്കിളോട്ട് വന്നു ഇവിടുന്ന് ഇനി നേരെ ലേ വരെയാണ് ആളുടെ ഉദ്ദേശം ഈ പോകുന്ന വഴികളിൽ സ്കൂൾസ് വില്ലേജസ് എല്ലായിടത്തും ഇതിൻ്റെ ഒരു ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് അറിയിക്കുന്നു അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഈ സോയൽ സേവ് എന്നുള്ള ആ ഒരു ആ ഒരു ക്യാമ്പയിൻ ആൾ വളരെ വ്യക്തമായിട്ട് അതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് പഠിച്ച് സ്റ്റഡീഡാണ് വെൽ തറോ സ്റ്റഡീഡാണ് പുള്ളി അപ്പം ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു ചെറുപ്പക്കാരൻ ഇതിനു വേണ്ടി ഒരു മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് എടുക്കുമ്പോൾ നമ്മളും എന്തെങ്കിലുമൊക്കെ ഒരു മൂവ്മെൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യണം ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ എന്താ പറയുക നമ്മുടെ ഒരു ഒരു നാല് ജനറേഷൻ കഴിയുമ്പോഴേക്കും ഒന്നുമില്ലാണ്ട് നാല് വേണ്ടാന്നാണ് ഇവരുടെ കണ്ടുപിടുത്തം അതിന് മുമ്പായിട്ട് so all the best for your uh, movement it's a great movement actually which we couldn't do i can only support you like this in social medias and all these things and i will support in my surroundings but you 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 have done a great thing like you know l- moving away from your family uh, move, uh, moving out your education and you know you are living your life for this actually yeah. you are spending your major your golden time of your life is spending on the safe soil movement that's a great thing about you and i respect you salute you <laughs> uh, so let your journey be a complete success uh, let everybody understand the importance of soil let everybody start let all all the government officials all the ministers all the governors including our pm see this movement of soil safe soil and let them change the policy right yeah let them change may let you be the change maker <laughs> we'll we'll take a walk around my city i'll show you this is the varakanathan temple uh, this this door opens only on the day of thrissur puram okay here is the main uh, kodamattam happens here 15 elephants will be there 15 elephants will be on the other side we yes. will change 100 umbrellas oh. colorful ones and it's a it's a uh, if you didn't see thrissur puram i'll say your life is wasted <laughs> I definitely say I don't want to waste my life. Yeah, yeah, you definitely have to see next year. Uh, definitely you come watch the Thrissurpuram. It's an amazing grand festival. It's an international festival. Oh. I'll, we'll take just a walk around my city. Take your weapon. <laughs> take but there <laughs> might be more beautiful cities but for me my city is the you know uh, loveliest the most beautiful mm-hmm. it's so green actually and you will never find a place uh, like in the center of the city a temple and the entire thing is around similarly it is a it is a deep mound that the shivalinga has gone doing the abhishega shivalingam has gone below the and, and pouring the ghee ghee it became a, like a mountain so it's it's a very special temple the auspicious place after all it's shiva temple so yeah. it will be special the beauty of the into bhangiya gana i have seen i have like i i what i know is like it, it is built entirely in stone and wood yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. oh and fair now there is a little bit conflict now because of the uh, old things and little bit patches are coming so a little taste is happening there and it is maintained by the tvs guys they are taking care very well the whole kerala like the whole state is like green for sure like i have traveled seven states uh-huh. yeah. the kerala is the greenest uh-huh. among all the other uh, i think in the entire kerala thrissur is the beautiful right? i would say that yeah <laughs> i would say that <laughs> okay okay come on.